Okay. So chose this replay because fuck good coming out of it. Ended up losing. Um, the big thing that I felt like I could have done better was the cocoons. Um, obvious cocoon target to me is Lucio. That way Sunbrider doesn't go off really easy to just pick a target to kill. That didn't really happen. Um, so that's the big thing. What about Li Ming though? If you cocoon this... Yep, that was the only other option, pretty much. Okay. To me, that seems like it might be the smarter option, but obviously you would wait until level 10 to see what Li Ming goes. Very high chance that Li Ming chooses Disintegrate over Wave of Force, but she also can choose Wave of Force for something pretty big. And what would it be? Do you, you can probably tell us. To interrupt. On our side, you mean? Pardon me? Wave of Force to interrupt on our side. The uh, so, the emerald, so like if if uh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Right so that would be probably the biggest thing for her to interrupt, but yeah, okay, well, let's have a look, see how this game goes. And because we have so we have a lot of coaching sessions tonight just before I get started, so I'm going to try to keep these to around 30 minutes if possible. Um, and then just so everybody knows, we have a guest coach later, I think. He should be showing up, <laughs> so that'll be fun. It'll be for our team replay with uh, Gokiburi a little bit later on. So hope you guys stay tuned till then. Okay, good. Not showing. Kind of waiting for things to happen. I think this is. Okay, so they show Li Ming. Ooh, this is pretty insane of them. Yeah, the only thing here, because you're a master player, right? This is hot, like mid master, high master. Where is this? Uh, this one is actually mostly diamonds. This is one of my tours to the diamond mines. Okay. This season. Um, the only thing is just watch your angle here, because if Lucio played this better and actually wall rode, you miss your burrow. So let's have a look. And you want to position yourself on the left hand side of Lucio. I know it's just like a minor mechanical thing, but people of your skill level, I want to recommend stuff like this. So here, I would be burrowing right here as my destination. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. And then boom. Yeah. yeah. You knock up Lucio, and then you're on the left hand side for the body blocks. Right. Because Lucio is really the only one I need to hit. Right yep. With this That's good follow up. They get a tower for it, but we just rotate mid, and you end up way up off this trade. I think, like, normally I say you shouldn't be showing on waves like this, but I think this is absolutely fine. However, if you rotated mid instead, you would have been able to get a pick onto this Li Ming, but she dies off this. What? She Gina doesn't auto attack? Sorry, I have to watch this. Ah, uh, okay, that wouldn't have killed her anyways. Never mind. All is well. What the? You're not willing to risk the E? The E out of the root? No, just E on top of Zul right now. Oh, yeah, on top of Zul. Yeah, you can E down means. and then in, um, knock him up right here. I think this is a free kill. You can double E right on top here, and he dies. I think it would be a worthwhile risk. Where is everyone? Yeah, everyone's so far away, too. You can assume they're on their siege because it's the minute and a half mark, but yeah, absolutely. I think you should have traded into that. Heck, even here, you can go in on this guy. He doesn't have his, uh, what talent is he? doesn't have armor. Yeah. Third armor is a bad way to use now. But... Yeah, I absolutely think you should have dug on him there. A little bit risky because if they aren't on their siege, they could have been rotating down here. Because we didn't see them at all. But... Right, there we go. Yeah. So this guy dies in every. Why is he stepping up this far?
Oh, okay. This was just a mechanical misplay by you. Because, yeah, you should just be digging a little bit more to the right. Ah, yeah. oh, she just used everything. Feel like I could have held that body block a little longer. Yeah, exactly. And then you just kite a little bit more to the left. Hit W. To sp did you already use your W? Do you have it up? No, you did use it. When did you use it? I think you actually make. Yeah, you misplay because you use it beforehand. You need to use it to spawn and tank the tower shots. So first, you have to use your E a little bit better here to, to get the knock up. The knock up is literally all you need at this point. But continue to body block left just continue body blocking stay here body block body block hit w okay so you do use it now and it tanks the shots or it will once you move in but yeah absolutely like push in a little bit further to the left and then use w so it starts tanking the tower shots and there's literally nowhere for him to go right. where'd you get your name from um, when I was a kid, I really liked dragons. I like it. That's basically what it comes from. I absolutely love it when people just keep their, like, uh, child IGNs, you know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dragons and pirates. What do we got here? I think, yeah, you, you should have queued this guy for sure. Queue him first. Like right here, this is a free queue. Oh, it just misses, that's why. You don't have it. Never mind. Right. Then I don't think it's worth going in on. You have it a second later? Six. Actually, if you burrow here, Dahawk is there for a tongue. Maybe, but yeah, so yeah, bro. Okay, never mind. He's just dead here. You to follow up. Okay. If you can get your um, Q first, just do it. Because then at least you have the ability to escape if you need it. If you can Q E, it's better than E Q always. Unless of course you get like this massive epicenter. But like right here, I, this is just a free Q. And then you can look for an E right off of it if you want. But she dies off the Q. Nice. Actually, in this context, you get the double knockup, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I get both here. Which Q may Yeah, have I done. wouldn't have done it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Q, if you Q here. It would have been close, it would have been close. Yeah, you'd have to just, like, split right down the middle. Yeah, yeah. But... That's actually fine. I think a noob's gonna see a lot more play in uh, Hero League soon. A noob in Chromie is just so good. I like this. You got to hawk a mid. I like that you went bottom here. I think it should be. No, uh, whatever. Is that E way too early? Yeah, absolutely. So you know that they're coming, right? Right. Or you see him right here. So I would start walking this way, and then you can cue him to dismount at this point. Right. The problem is you don't have a single piece of CC for after your Jaina is already, or I mean your Vala is just completely yeah. locked down. Spamming Wicketron lyrics in my chat. I love it. Is Zul even good? I feel like this hero sucks. Uh oh. 
Yeah, that was that was another one of those kind of scary E's. These will get you killed in more um, competitive environments, maybe. I don't know if these guys kill you, but. Okay, on our way back. How many globes do you have? Like none, right? Wait, whoops, sorry. I'm thinking of something else. Wrong talent. And I think this is the right talent to go against what you're playing against. Okay, I need to look at this one more time. See what you have. Okay, you know, Dahaka is ready for Burrow, likely calling it in comms. Or we can just assume we see the Brush Stalker coming in. Yeah. So Ian. Yeah, not out. Not, definitely not out. Because, like, look at this. Right, yeah. Only problem if we do that, that leaves Zul and um, there's Sonya onto our back line, but Jaina should be able to walk away from that. And we can kite down bottom. We still have our fort. What is Vala doing? Yeah, I absolutely think you need to E into that instead, or or Q it and see what happens, and then E into it off of that. Now you have just Q up. Yep, huge Q, auto. One more, nice. Then this guy dies. Okay, now you have another big E right here, which is what you find. Oh no. Couple missed abilities mechanically, I'm finding. So we gotta work on that, because this is a free Q. Well, it should be at least. She has blink? Yeah, if you just chase in. Ah, no, it's too far away. Or where? One second. I swear you can get this. There's gotta be a way where you get this, right? Yeah, no, I think you're right. Two. I think if I just learn how to hit skill shots. So if you Q from here right now, what happens? She gets hit. Yeah. Right. And then she dies off of that. So that's one extra kill that is limited by you mechanically, which, yeah, just got to work on that. Find those right angles and, and not like literally right angles because that wasn't a right angle, but you know what I mean? The correct angles. The correct yep. angles, yes. <laughs> You submit another replay, you're like, look, man, I made a perfect right angle with the Lee Ming. I'm like, dude, no, that's not what I'm trying to tell you to do. What are you doing? Stupid jokes. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, here so we go. Here. Yeah, so just rip the cocoon on her. Right here, she's dead. Cocoon her. Or E into her right now. Remember, you have beetles, man. There's no such thing as not being able to dive a fort as a Nubarak. That's why he's so OP. Right. You spawn the beetles and they immediately start aggroing. But right here, I say you either cocoon and then push up with the wave and then one shot off of the CC or you just E. But you do neither. You just let her walk up to you like that. Like, if I was this vault, like if you E in there and Vala just like vaults forward, auto QW auto, like she dies. Strafe if she feels like it, or even here, like I would absolutely use Cocoon. Force a fight. We don't need this fort, we want to get kills, we have level 10. You you want a snowball at advantage, this is a huge misplay. Yep. Normally I'm the guy who says go for structures, but this was just... Every single variable I think on the map says you're allowed to do it. Um, this is like the only kind of scary part, but still, man, the 3v2. What? What was that? Okay. No big deal. I really like Dehaka to go bottom here. And we blow our TP early. This is all just so bad for Master. It's so bad. But 
Sorry, normally I don't just like blanket statement like that, but that was just, there's no way that should happen. Okay, here we go. But then, see? Right, yeah, exactly. And we talked about this. This is something that you could have kind of looked at as the game was starting. So what you want to do is you have to wait for the O in O, let, or, or is it O, let's break it down? It's something like that. If you're wanting to interrupt the Lucio, otherwise you have to use your um, your cocoon on Leeming basically every single fight because she's just gonna hold her s disintegrate. Yeah, it's O. It's hard to do, but yeah. So let's look at the opener here. I actually think you get a really nice opener. Boom. This isn't bad at all. The only problem is Jaina's in space. So if Jaina were where Dahaka and Brightwing are, oh boy. Look, can you can you see this opener? Like the ring off this? Like that's so yeah. huge. He dies, 100%, no questions asked. The only thing is, is you have to burrow here, you have to cocoon Li Ming, and then the Jaina needs to be here. But even so, like, should have been able to kill Lucio with a full combination from, from Vala. Yeah. Can't. Well, I can't really speak for what your teammates are doing, but it, it was just a bad opener. Okay. Gather tree. You guys are still in really good shape. Only thing you could have done during there is send one to clear mid and get your hards at the same time because we didn't get those at all. And you can kind of try to initiate that even though, you know, a new rack doesn't do a whole lot when it comes to clearing camps. Yep. I always just like saying that because now that we're in a voice comm environment, you're able to just say stuff like that and your teammates will follow up. So about 30 seconds ago, when you came back from mid, you could just be like, hmm, we're not doing anything. We don't really want to fight because we're still ahead in XP. Let's do our bruises for next objective. Which you guys get, but yeah. My curse upon you. Does the can get him there? Um, see, the problem is like, Look where our teammates are in relation. So, like, you start moving in. Okay, so we're capping. That's right, why. Right. Like Ooh, this is actually. There's no way they don't make it there. Yeah. No, this is actually quite a power play. I think you get the kill. How? But you waste what is it? Seven, six seconds? Eight seconds. Eight seconds. You get the kill, but you waste eight seconds. I think it's worth it. Really need to clear out mid though. This is so bad for us. Um, I think it's good for you to get this kill, okay? Because this kill gives you what? They get to clear a siege camp, which likely they clear anyways. Um, so if anything, you just come up off this, and then you kind of rotate mid. You can take the entire mid area, and then rotate top off of it, maybe? And then boss yeah. off that? Yeah, rotate top boss. Yeah, that looks so... Yeah, cocoon this. Everybody walks in, you get the kill, walk mid after. Right now, we're just wasting time. Just missed every skill shot and yeah. <laughs> don't have to comment on that one because obviously you know that's not right. Oh, they have this too. Really gotta get in these structures, yeah. So they're just free clearing at this point. Gotta hit that E earlier. It's a good dive, man. Really good dive. Look at his health. Boom, E. And just hit it, here. Hit it again, knock him up. Oh no, it's a tragedy. So how many is that that we've missed because of mechanics, two or three? 
Or just because of skill shots, sorry? Mm, yeah. Yeah, That's two crazy. or three, oh. or like 60% okay. of every engage. It's pretty big. Oh, that's a nice cleanse. Really yeah, nice. Huge, actually. It, it is something that I've been noticing lately. After I submitted the replay, my end new mechanics are actually garbage. So. It's okay, you'll get it. He just takes a bit of time. His abilities are weird, you know? Everything he does travels slowly. It just it takes a bit of time to get used to. What do you guys do here? Okay. I think we boss. You got Q build, we like boss. you can race it so fast. Right now. Yeah. Good. So your call right there. here is we have Emerald Wind, but they get it quickly. Yeah. No, I think the better call is just to get Siege and defend. Oh, you die here. So, you respond so slowly to this. Yeah. Because you're watching them. You know that they're here. You know that they're likely here or here or here. The only three options. It's not like they're going to take this and not take and not push with it. Uh, or they can go mid, but... Like, you have to... Do I even now. need to be here at this point? Oh, then? no, not at all. Right. Okay. And if you are, like, be here in the bush instead so that your vision extends over here so that you have right. a greater amount of time for you to respond being here only shows down on the wave but we already have a minion here we have a ward right here let's get a ward here as well you you actually just have to put your body right on this corner instead this is just you positioning in the bush improperly but even so you have to, at this point you have your mouse in this direction on your hero hovering q waiting to hit q soon as sonia shows up your reaction time is there and you hit q now she gets knocked up and then you walk this way but even so you don't you do not um e right away you walk up here you walk up here e over the wall yeah yeah that makes more sense no, oh no wait who did you cocoon there <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lucio. Are we still trade up on this? Oh no, she's gonna get queued. She's still chasing in? What a god. Honestly, I'm really trying to get phase shifted to right now. Like, real bad. Any of my heroes would love it. Would love to get the phase shift. A weird build. I grow tired of so yeah, like real badly. This is really bad. Could have uh, face shift onto the Vala, polymorphed the Sonya, gave move speed to Vala. She could have lived 100%, but that's okay. But yeah, this was. Yeah, I don't even need to be there. Yep. Fully preventable. Okay, well, we still trade decently there. Still up a little bit in XP, but we got the double globals and we're only up half a level. They're about to hit curse, so things are actually looking pretty bad for you guys. This is a fun replay because you're not doing anything like massively wrong macro wise. It's just you're missing your combos and missing your the way that you're supposed to play team fights. So it's actually really interesting. Yep, yeah, that's why I like this replay. Jeez, I spend so much time on these replays. It's already been 30 minutes. How is that possible? Okay. Can someone give me an update on Heroes Hearth? 1912. Okay. Here we actually, at this point, like, we have to talk about the definition of insanity. So, you're trying to do the exact same thing over and over and expecting different results out of the fight, but you gotta, 
you have to change it up mid mid game like this. Like the fact that you've used three cocoons on Lucio and three times they get instantly broke like that and your engagement is now null and void. Like you've got to be able to notice this mid game and, and change up your play style. So this is pretty much the exact same thing. I feel like this is a huge engage. Like we get vision on them. Okay, so they, they get the one full combo down onto your spell shield. They push into this choke. We have Jaina waiting in the flank like this. We could have a big Emerald Dream. Emerald Wind. I always call it Emerald Dream. You get a Twilight huge... Wins. Yeah, Twilight Wind. There you go. Huge Q. You push into this fight and just use your um, cocoon onto, onto Li Ming. Full combo off this hero. Boom. Because, like, look. Let's watch this real quick. Thank you all for the subs. Uh, I will do my shoutouts after this replay. Okay, so check this out. Watch. And it's lined up so perfectly. Watch Lucio and watch how your... So your Q right there. Now watch. If you, like, E on top of the Lucio, right off your... If you Q him, walk back, E, E him again, he gets rooted by the... Uh, by the Ring he of Frost. Yeah. yeah. And then you can drop your Cocoon onto Li Ming. No damage at all. Lucio instantly dies. And now we still have everything. The, the leap comes through. Cool. We'll just... Will Emerald Wind it? That came out way too late, but excuse me. Hero slain. My and you basically just have to go mid. I mean, I don't know what, I don't know if I agree with Brightwing here. You guys do have a lot of disengage, but if somebody walks up and, and their support gets a noob queued like that and the ring falls on top, boy, oh boy, I think that's a good engagement. If we're waiting for them to engage on us and the ass stitches, that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, because they're just going to find a, like a crazy engagement. Right. I guess it's not awful. Do you usually go this talent? Normally, yeah. Okay. You don't like Epicenter? I, mm, ever since it was nerfed, gosh, forever ago now. Yeah. Um, normally, debilitation gets enough value that I can justify it. The Epicenter's still good. Like, it's always been good. Of course. But ever since it got nerfed, it's been... It's been a struggle kind of trying to say, yeah, but... Mm -hmm. Or okay. I could just hit their leaving and she doesn't do it. So. I still think Epicenter is worth considering because if you're saying you're going debilitating like most of the time, I think you should at least consider the value that you get out of Epicenter. It's still really good. I'm pretty sure that's what we run every single time we play this hero. Maybe not every single time, but most of the times. But keep in mind, that's an organized environment too, so it's... Right, yeah. A little bit different. Still worth considering. Okay, well you guys can just raise bosses. Which kind of sucks. There's for sure gets a keep. Actually, so does ours. Oh, we're pretty slow on this, Kate. That's fine. Nice. Good pathing by you. Oh, you actually look for it. Yeah, because Zul is bottom here, so... Screaming in comms. This is our fight. This is our fight. Go in, go in, go in. The only thing is you go way too early. So you have good positioning outside. Like, they're not getting away from you. Not a stitches. You can actually just wait here and, again, just use your cocoon onto a target. You, ha you have a bit of time to buy. In fact, you can bait them in here a little bit. That that's kind of sketchy, but my team is hearthing. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. That's that's wild. So I wouldn't have E'd here. Eing, I think, kills you every single time. Yep, it does. So you have vision over Li Ming. Just use Cocoon on her and then just wait for them to show up. But I agree, this is a good opportunity for a fight. For you guys, especially how you hit 20 right here. As soon as you die. Why are my damage dealers in E range of Sonya? This is what I don't understand. Okay, so cool. Do that weak. I know, but yeah, I understand that the Jaina like dies there, but this comes out way too late again. No autos. Oh well. Okay. He's not gonna do too much. We get the keep off this. I lied. He did quite a bit. We don't get the keep! We don't get the keep. We got trolled by the last stupid cast time of the boss. I'm so mad. Catapults made the difference. They would have ended the game if Sonya went bot with Zul. Yep. Okay, so so far every single issue with this game has been you engaging team fights, um, or you not using your abilities properly, which is right. so good because that's so easy to fix. Like you can just watch a single replay and understand what you're doing wrong and then make the corrections. That's the nice thing. Yeah, it's so much harder to really un wrap your head around macro, wrap your head around positioning as a warrior, wrap your head around, you know, all those things that actually take a lot more time to figure out. But, you know, just how you're using your abilities is literally the easiest thing in the world. This is wild, though. Okay. We gotta play these smarter, like way smarter. So watch. This is what I mean. Okay, so they cap that. You know that they're there. We don't have anyone. Jaina's up here. What are you... What are you doing here? Pretending that I give value. What's the vision here? <laughs> even, th even though we know they're here, I'm just being in a bush because I can. Okay, considering all the information on the map, where is the bush that you should be in? Wh where should you be? Any Probably the one by our siege, honestly. Over here? Yeah, like way over there. Here is irrelevant because we have vision all the way up here. So this one, no. Where, where's the right bush? I know you know this. Just tell me. Tell me in the right here, bush. Here. There's only one right oh, bush. Mid. Yes. So mid. The here. bush right on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they can't walk through here to gank because it's just unreasonable. We have the minion wave and we have emerald. Uh, we know that they're there. So their only other rotation is through here to gank. So if you sit here, again, you, like, screw yourself over. Like, watch. You totally mess yourself up here with your vision game. So, like, you walk up here. This is not a good spot, obviously, because look at your vision. You don't it's see them until they, they're nothing. actually killing you. <laughs> it's actually nothing. Yeah, you have zero vision here. So as soon as they show up here, you're dead. You know, you can burrow over the wall, but that just gives hit confirm on stitches if he plays it properly. So, if anything, just be here. Or, like, even this is sketchy. So, like, watch. Watch when you walk into this bush. Watch what happens to your vision. Boom. Again. Eliminated. So, you see them as soon as they show up here. And as soon as they show up here. As soon as, as, soon as they show up here, like, it's too late. They already have position on you. You go down here. Boom. They just lose your speed onto you. You have no fort for, for you to walk back to. You're dead. Um, but if you're here, you see all of this. So, it's like they start coming through. You're like, ooh, Q, walk away. Instead, I face tank this spear. And here, I would be queuing onto this Sonya and walking immediately up this way, hoping the pixie dust comes out. But, like, look, you stand still and auto attack almost three times. And there's the pixie. So, like, your health. Yep. Much, much better. And I'm a noob, so I need that health. So, we know they're invading. 
So Gina starts coming down. Nice. It's actually really good. That was the only time that turn was correct. And why is it good? Because it means that Stitches dies. It also well, basically because it, yeah, it only works because Wing doesn't have Disintegrate. Exactly. So Emerald yeah, Wind interrupts what, the Disintegrate. That's what it gets us. Boom. No Disintegrate. Completely screwed. Your CC actually being valuable this game, or this fight. This is good. Frickin' rewind that you spent earlier because you're bad positioning, Dragon King. Yep. Just Got missed it. every skill shot, anyway. Hit the E earlier? Why aren't you hitting... Okay, honestly, why aren't you hitting E again? Like, you have to give me a reasonable... Right, so I've thought about this because I told you that I've actually been noticing that my new mechanics are really, really bad. And I think I figured out that it's just really, really bad habits from my early hot stays. Um, because one thing I used to do a ton on it was I would EN and immediately W no matter what. Whether I was taking damage or not, even if I had subterranean shield and that was enough. It was just a really bad habit that I just had to get rid of from my early days because I was just terrible at the game. And this is more of that of... I'm actually not using my brain playing this character. I'm just using my habits that I've had for three years that turns out aren't going to work up in Master. So. Okay. I, th I feel like that's a good excuse, but you got to change it. So. Yep. This is absolutely unbelievably bad on our team's part. We still have quite a bit of shield left. And the fact that we get this kill onto Sonja. And so th this is bad for two reasons. Number one, we can all push into this and likely score another kill. Oh yeah, 100%. Um, but this is the problem. Watch this. See you guys. They're going to defend top. Top's not even yeah. doing anything right now. We're just going to push back. So you guys can stay for another kill. You can absolutely get Li Ming and then walk away. You're all already at core. Like, this is perfectly fine to do. But the fact that they just, like, leave like that is really, really awful. Like, we have another wave spawning. Uh, Dalinar, you can interrupt Lucio pretty much all the way up until he says it. You know, let's break it down. Okay, well, that yeah. sucked. Sorry? I was saying, yeah, yeah, usually you can tell when you've done it because he'll say, oh, let's break, and then you blow him up. So it's... The audio cue is extremely fitting. What was that? I can't. I have Q up, right? Yeah. And I E away from my Brightwing? Yeah. You see the them go in here that. too. <laughs> like this should just be a Q and a walk away is what it should be. Uh... <laughs> you just send the E. You have to, you have to one. Oh, you, okay, E, is it already? Can you... Jeez Louise. Okay, you gotta stop doing this, Dragon King. Yeah, this is such a free queue upwards just to see what's up. And then the boys come out. The, uh, the, the beetles. Gives you some more vision. But, yeah, this is just... Wow. That's, uh... Okay, so now we're starting off this fight down, Emerald Wind. I wouldn't even risk fighting it. I would just tell my team at this point, give, clear, like, push out two waves bottom, push out another one mid. Like, I straight up would not risk that. That's two pretty big cooldowns. And you're just diving again. Yep, we traded Bile for Emerald Wind. Yeah. So I guess it's not the so end of the it, world. It's 
Uh, yeah. The only but problem is it's hard anyway. to yeah, it's hard to kill Sonya without the emerald because of her spinning. We don't have right. a lot of lockdown because they went strafe. Evala. But like Eing here again, like this is so sketchy. You don't have rewind. Yeah, but the longer this goes, the less sense it makes. Walk in or cue it. Yeah, this is uh, questionable to say. Repin, please. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Your abilities, that's basically the biggest problem. Focus on using your Q uh, for checking bushes and for trying to control vision instead of your E. Because if you E in and there are three people there, yes, you get the knockup, but your Jane is still in space. You're not getting a kill and you're actually just going to die. Yep. But if you Q and you find three people there, then you can kind of judge the situation there. But E is like the 100% we have to get this kill or else I'm dead ability. But yeah, the biggest parts was just... Being able to read what your teammates or what your enemy team brought to the table with their abilities and just kind of playing accordingly. But yeah, missed a lot of opportunities opportunities this game mechanically, which just focus on fixing those things. A couple times where you were just not double tapping the E. Actually, in the very early game on the Zul, you could have double tapped E to get the kill. Um, there was the other time, I think it was on to Li Ming. Was it yet yeah, here or no? on the lucio here you need uh -huh, to double tap yeah. this was a huge moment though when you had 3v2 down here and you guys hit level 10 first you could have absolutely snowballed this game off that play but you you just needed to play aggressively use that cocoon the cocoon lets you especially early and if you get 10 before your opponents allows you to walk up onto fights so if there's two people here one two and you have three here, you cocoon this target that's right here, you can walk up. This person now has to make the decision. No, I'm going to consciously push in in a 1v3 to hopefully free my other hero and then get a 2v3 or just walk away and leave them for dead. So lot, lots of really good plays can be made off of stuff like that. But yeah, any questions? Nope. That was a good one, nope. man. Um, yeah, sorry if I was a little bit harsh about the mechanics. I don't think I was, but some people can maybe read it that way. So yeah, no, like I said, I've been noticing it too, that the mechanics is the biggest thing on a noob right now, just from really, really bad habits. Excellent. Well, those will be fixed. I look forward to our next one. Me too. Awesome. Hey, Thank take you. Take care, man.